Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. Once again, creature comparison is going to the dogs. This time the comparison is going to be the Dingo or Canis Dingo versus the Gray Wolf or Canis Lupus. So, it's time for an Ow! Standing comparison. As always, we start with our similarities. Both the wolf and the dingo are large wild canids. And both species live in large family packs that are made up of an alpha male, alpha female, a few yearlings, and current offspring. And even though only the alpha pair can breed, all the members of the pack help to take care of the pups. And the main reason why wolves and dingoes live in packs is because it helps them to bring down large prey. In the wild, wolves hunt animals like moose, elk, and caribou, while dingoes hunt large animals like kangaroos. Now then, let's talk about the differences. First up is their ranges. The dingo lives across the mainland of Australia. The gray wolf, on the other paw, lives in northern North America, Europe, and a lot of Asia. Dingoes are also much smaller than wolves. A fully grown dingo weighs 23 to 32 kilograms, or 50 to 70 pounds, males are heavier, and they are 157 to 262 centimeters, or 62 to 103 inches long, and stand up to 58 centimeters, or 23 inches tall. The gray wolf on the other paw is the world's largest canine. A fully grown wolf usually weighs 15 to 80 kilograms or 33 to 176 pounds and is 130 to 200 centimeters or 51 to 79 inches long and stand up to 87 centimeters or 34 inches tall. Also, even though both dingoes and wolves are pack animals, Dingoes usually live in smaller packs. The typical size for a dingo pack is around 10 members. By contrast, the average size of a wolf pack can range from 6 to even 30 members. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the dingo and the gray wolf. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's go back to the safari hat and see what our next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, well, for the next one, I'm going to make a pig out of myself. Alpha Lion Simba, out.